Hello YouTube and welcome back to Fire Gaming Project. So in this short video, I'll be doing an updated review of Noelle. I finally built her, um, especially during the 2.6 to 2.7 delay period. So I finally built her and I got her her weapon and everything. So here we go. Um, so let's get started. So I'll try to keep this quick. So I uh, just kept her at level 80, um, focusing again. I tried to get her crit rate higher, but again, I'm just using leftover pieces of of um, the artifacts, so I'll get to that. And then crit damage, of course, get these as high as possible if you are planning to build her up and use her. She's supposed to be a monster um, if you build her up really strong. Of course, she does need energy, and um, shielding is also her thing, and geo damage bonus. Okay, weapon-wise, her most favorite weapon is the white blind. If you are building her and using her as, like, your main character and you're not going for Ito, but you somehow got Ito's weapon, the Red Horn Stone Thresher, um, or are planning to get that when it's coming back for rerun um, very soon, then that would be her best weapon, obviously. But this is not a bad weapon for her, as you can see, because she also scales off of defense. And um, this will increase her attack and her defense. And the substat is defense, obviously. Okay, so let's go over the other weapon options. Now, because she's a four-star character, depending on where you are in the game, if you're newer to the game, then yeah, you get her for free, of course. So do take advantage of that and do build her up if you are planning to keep her around for a while. Um, I didn't uh, need to use her in the early game. I was lucky and fortunate that I did get some five stars early on that was free based on the first, like, first uh, the starting wishes. So I didn't have to use my Noelle. That's why I never built her. So I built her recently only. So um, if you are going to kit her out with five-star weapon options, then of course, as I said, um, Arataki Ito's weapon, the Red Horn Stone Thresher, is her best. But following that, as you can see, my Ito doesn't even have that. Um, I don't have that weapon, so Unforged is also a good weapon because it has a shield aspect to it. Um, so that's fine. Um, if you are trying to bring her up um, and if you have energy issues, you can give her the Skyward Pride. Um, in addition, the Wolf's Gravestone and the Song of Pro uh, Broken Pines are also good options for her as well. I'm not going to go too deep on those ones. The reason why is because all of the five-star um, claymores are awesome in this game, including the Serpent Spine, which I don't have from the Battle Pass. Um, so that's also a good weapon. Uh, that's a four-star, I'm sorry, but that's also a really good weapon too. Okay, so moving along, the Akuma Maru is an Inazuma limited series um, weapon. This is a burst, um, basically a burst increasing weapon, so the normal and charge attack won't be as um, boosted. But this is a good weapon too if no one else is using it. I use it on my Chongyun, as you can see, and I love it on him, so he's the one with it. But previously, this also had a brief stint with my Beidou, but Beidou, my Beidou needed a lot of energy, so I swapped it with the Scarlet Pride, which I got um, a second refinement for recently. So um, yeah, depending on who you have in your roster, and where you are in the game, depending on that, and what weapons you have, of course. So Akua Maru is a gacha weapon, unfortunately, so it's not easily to get, and it is um, not guaranteed in any banner. It's just rated up here and there. Um, next, we have the craftable from Inazuma, the Katsura Gikiri. This one is not bad, too. However, um, I will say that it does rely on doing the elemental skill a lot, and her elemental skill is really just the shielding and a little bit of healing, so it's not really... No, this is not a really good match for her based on the usage of the skill, but I mean, you could still put it on her um, for the energy recharge aspect. The Luxurious Sea Lord was an event specific weapon, and this one is also good because it increases the debt, the burst. So, this is actually very similar to the Akuo Maru, and I've done way back, I've done videos on, on comparing those, and they're, you know, they're very comparable. I'll just put it that way. But of course, this Luxurious Sea Lord is no longer available because it was from an event. So, moving forward, if you don't have this already, then the Akuo Maru would be your best bet if you're going to go for these type of weapons burst focused for her. But again, like I said, her, her best weapon, her second best weapon is the white blind, which you can craft. So this is really good. And no one else really scales off of a defense right now. I mean, Arataki Ito can use this too, of course, but if you have Ito and you have a five-star weapon, you should give him a five-star weapon. Okay, so uh, Black Cliff Slasher, this is a good because it's a Black Cliff weapon. It's from the Paimon uh, series from the shop and um, every other month. And this is a good placeholder. However, this will the pro, uh, the passive will not proc and will not apply if you're fighting like a boss or a single target or single enemy, um, because you do need to kill enemies in order to get the um, stacks up on this. But it's an amazing placeholder weapon and a stat stick. Prototype Archaic is also a very good craftable weapon, and also it's good for her normal and her charge attack. Um, however, it doesn't do anything more for her burst, and arguably her burst is the main source of her damage. So it, depending on how you use her, obviously if you use her more for her normal and charge attacks or are very balanced in terms of how you use her, then that's okay too. 
Okay, and then the Sacrificial Greatsword, this one gives, gives great um, energy recharge, and it allows her to do her skill twice, potentially. However, again, we talked about this with the, um, the Inazuma one here, um, because her skill is really just to create a shield, and we'll go over that in the talent section, but because it's just to create a shield, it doesn't really do any purpose to, in order to like do it twice. I mean, yeah. You can also get better shields with like Diona, maybe Toma if you build them up, and Zhongli, right? So, Favonia's Greatsword, this is great for energy recharge. If you build her up to have good crit rate and she can crit often, then you'll get the extra energy back from the passive. So this is a great placeholder. Favonia's weapons are always great. Similar to how Skyward is, Skyward is like the 5-star universal placeholders that are good for all characters. Favonia's is like the 4-star version of that, so that's good too. Okay. And then there's these dragon spine ones. Um, not very many people um, went ahead. I only kept the one that I got, the R1, because you get one in the storyline. Um, and this one is a physical damage bonus, and it also has a normal and charge attack focus. And it can pr uh, potentially drop like cryo crystal uh, icicle that can give an extra damage there. Unfortunately, though, with um, Geo, it doesn't react other than crystallize and give a little um, shield crystal. So this is not preferred for her unless you want to build her as a physical damage um, character. Originally, many, many um, patches ago, people thought the bell would be good for her. However, the bell's shield has nothing to do with her shield. Um, and in addition, the bell, she doesn't scale off of HP. That's the only problem. So no one can really use this right now. So I would just caution from using this. As you can see, I wasn't sure. I had this on her temporarily because it does match her. Um, however, I realized that it's not good for her. I'm sure many players knew that early on too. But so I'm telling all of you now, obviously, don't build this. <laughs> don't bother like putting any resources in this. And yeah, there's no character that can technically use this right now. Lithic Blade does not apply to her. She's not from Li Yue. Um, but if you do put this on her, it's okay too. It has an attack percentage bonus. It's a Li Yue specific limited series weapon that comes back here and there. It will be making an appearance um, on the Ito weapon banner coming up the rerun, and so there's a chance to get it there too. However, to get this, um, to make this good, you have to have the high refines of refinement rank 3 and above, so 3, 4, 5. Um, also, you need to have at least 3 out of 4 or 4 characters from Li Yue in your team, and Noel being not from Li Yue, then the other 3 have to be from Li Yue. So that's why I don't build these weapons, because they're very specific on team compositions and everything. So I don't really deal with that, and I don't like to pull too much for these limited series weapons. Um, Rain Slasher doesn't really apply to her elemental mastery. Again, she's Geo, can't really utilize it. It, and she's not Hydro or Electro for the passive to work. All right, so that's that. I believe I went through all of the weapons, including the Red Horn, which I don't have. All right, and the Serpent Spine is also a good um, Battle Pass weapon, which I mentioned already. Okay, artifact-wise, so before um, the Husk of Opulent Dreams came out for Ito, she had other options, like Geo set, um, maybe the, the Shielding set, um, that's in the same Geo domain. However, since the Husk of Opulent Dreams came out and they rebalanced Geo and they gave more, um, you know, uh, more characters to Geo, basically giving like Goro to us and Ito, et cetera, et cetera, then Husk of Opulent Dreams is her best um, set. So I wouldn't say that I have the best stuff on her, but I will say that she's really easy to build because whatever defense substance or whatever that you have that you don't want, you just give it to her. Um, now, in this case, I didn't get a defense main stat piece for this um, stand, so that's okay, though. So then she'll just be kind of like a DPS or sub-DPS in this case. And then you can give her a Geo damage bonus, or you can give her a defense main stat, that's fine. Or just anyone's with um, defense substat. Remember, she does need energy, too. And um, crit rate. So I did build her kind of like a DPS, actually, if you think about it. So, But then here, this one has like defense on there, obviously. And then this one, um, this one has a bunch of defense on there. So I figured it was good in this case. Constellations, I do have all six, of course, because if you've had her since the beginning, then it's easy to get all six. She comes off, she comes back um, very often. So this one just gives her, um, while both her sweeping time and her breastplate um, talents are in effect, the chance of breastplate healing effect is increased by, so it doubles her healing. I don't use her as a healer, so I, this is okay, but if you do, I mean, there's better healers in the game, let's put it that way. C2 decreases the stamina consumption of her charge attacks by 20% and increases the charge attack damage by 15. Not bad. This is plus 3 levels for her Breastplate, which is her E skill, um, which is her shield. And then C4, when Breastplate's duration expires or is destroyed by damage, it will deal 400% attack of Geo damage to surrounding opponents. So that's good. It will shatter, basically. So it's just a little extra damage there. This is um, plus 3 levels to her Sweeping Time, which is her alt. And then this last one is her Sweeping Time increases Noelle's 
um, attack by an additional 50% of her defense. So it scales off of that. And um, additionally, every opponent defeated during the skills duration adds to the duration up to 10 seconds. Talent-wise, you can definitely build her to use her normal and charge attacks, not a problem. Breastplate, again, it scales off of her defense, but it is for healing and it can help with her shielding as well. But again, there are better shield characters to use. That's why you should not focus too much on this. If you look at the talent recommendations from 2.7 onward, you'll see that it's the alt and the normal attack, and then last is the breastplate. So that's why I left her at um, level 8, and this is 7 technically, and then this one is the plus 3 levels, and then this is 8 as well. And I think that's fair for her now. And this is just um, adding a larger AoE and more attack and scaling off of her defense, etc. Um, and then more of that scaling here. All right, let's get to it. Um, now, in terms of uh, team compositions, she would be great with like a Zhongli to increase his shield. She would be great with other Geo characters like Ito, Goro, etc. Goro could help uh, make her stronger even, right? Um, I would say that She's a good swap on and off character for burst DPS purposes. So hence, Akumaru is a good weapon. Luxurious Sea Lord is a good weapon. Her own weapon is a good weapon. Um, but yeah, I mean, she is pretty universal. But Geo, it's just unfortunate that Geo just doesn't really react that much with other things. All right, let's get to it. Let's just go and destroy this guy. Um, it's not that it's hard or anything. I brought Klee along just to break the shield really quickly because Klee just seems to be able to break it really fast. And then we'll focus... Um, Done. We're just gonna bring that out. Okay. So here we got the shield on, and then like, um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to get some energy up for her, but she can do some pretty good damage. So that's just, um, that. Like, it's okay, right? Like, she can still proc stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can get some energy for her quickly. And notice that she does have. Okay, there we go. That's just showing her breastplate. I'm kind of extending this battle a little bit because of the fact that I'm trying to get um, energy for her, if I can. Okay. Okay, there. Well, it died, obviously, before, but then, like, this is her, her, her thing, of course, and I want to say that it's not bad. Um, this wasn't, like, the best thing, because it, it died before, because it, it doesn't last long, I'll be honest, with my team composition. But, I mean, I will say that this is not a horrible um, alt to have, and she can last very long, and she can do pretty good damage. Um, I will just leave it at that. Um, so I would just say that she's a pretty good overall well-rounded character, it's un and you can build her up to be really, really powerful. There's many videos and streamers out there who have done it. Um, I will just say that she is someone that is kind of left behind because there's other characters that people are more interested in. However, if you're not going for Ito, I will say please go for her because if you want to fill that void of not having Ito, she's a really great option to be a, basically a four-star version of Ito that's free. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I did do one right before this for Yanfei, and the next one will be about Barbara. So I'll see you there. Thank you so much.